Hey, what's up? Last time we were able to build this, um, this part of the Instagram profile layout here and hopefully by the end of this video I'll have the entire profile layout built. It's not going to have images in it yet or anything but just the entire layout itself I hope to finish by the end of this video. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to create a new layout file and I'm going to call it layout center uh, profile. And we're going to get our uh, handy dandy merge tags here. So I'm just going to go to the snippet top profile um, file here and paste in the merge. And then just go down and close those merge tags. This is going to be a, quite a big layout. Before I was going to do it in parts, but there's just so many parts that I'm just going to throw it all into the same layout. So watch very carefully. And if you get stuck, just check out the source code. I'm going to up, I upload the source code at the end of every single video. So the one in the link in the description will be the one for this video. So if you get caught up on anything, just grab the source code and copy it. So we'll start by building a relative layout. And we're inside the merge tag, so our autocomplete isn't working. So we'll start with the layout width and we'll do match parent. And then layout height, and same thing. This is gonna be the relative layout that kind of holds the entire thing. And what else do we need? We can go set a background, let's do color white. So now originally I was going to put the snippet for the top toolbar in here, but I'm actually going to put it in this layout now. So I'm going to create a relative layout just for that as by itself. So we'll do match parent. And we'll just do 50 dp because that's what we've been doing for all of the toolbar heights. And then in here I'll actually, so we'll go to activity profile. I'm going to copy, I'm going to get rid of this. So get rid of snippet top profile and we can actually close like, which one the snippet top profile bar we can actually close snippet top profile also and I'm gonna paste the snippet top profile bar right there and that's where I'm gonna actually put the uh, profile bar and let's give this an ID also because I'm going to orient these in such a way that they refer to one another for position so there we go that's our first relative layout I'm actually gonna put some notes at the top here so Let's go top toolbar. Now we're going to start on the next section, and this is, I guess, what we're going to call the middle section. So, middle section. And let's get just so it's easily identifiable. And once again, we're going to use a relative layout. Pretty much this whole thing is going to be built with relative layouts. And what are we going to do? We'll do match parent and match parent again. And then we will put this below the other relative layout. So I'll just go below ID relative layout one. Then this one we're going to give an ID of rel rel layout two, and we'll give it a background. Uh, what is it? White gray border. This is going to be be the section that's uh, this this kind of part right here. And then the grid view is going to be the bottom. So really, what I'm building is just uh, so that you can see it is going to be this part right here. So we want that bottom gray border right here and that's what I just put in right here. So let's go back to the file. Now we'll create a linear layout and we'll do match parent and wrap content and the orientation is going to be horizontal. And do we need an ID? Sure, let's Go lin layout. I don't think there's going to be another one in this layout. And I'm going to use a weight sum to divide the horizontal portion of this. So if you look, I guess we can look at this picture actually. So if you look at, now I'm going to build this part right here. So I'm going to create a linear layout, a horizontal one, uh, and use a weight sum to divide it in pieces. So this is going to occupy maybe. 25% uh, of the layout and then this will be the 75% the snippet that we made in the previous video. Now we're just going to put a relative layout inside of here and uh, the width we want to do 0 dp because of the weight sum and then the height we can do uh, should be able to do match parent because we just have a wrap content here and let's do uh, a weight and this is going to occupy 25% and uh, we'll do some some margins, the margin on the start for 25 dp, 
And then inside of this relative layout, I'm going to create a circle image. Uh, I can't remember if we have imported those dependencies. No, we haven't. So this is going to be where the profile image is going to be, and, and it needs to be a circle image. So uh, I guess for now, just for a placeholder, I'll just put an image view and do uh, ADDP by ADDP, and I'll come back and replace that with a circle image later on, because we're going to need to get an external library for that. Now below this relative layout is where we're going to put the snippet that we built in the last part. So uh, this this section right here. So we'll do another relative layout and let's do zero DP because we're going to use the weight sum again and do match parent for the height. And uh, we'll do layout weight equals 75 to occupy that remaining 75%. And then inside here we can just do our include tag and do layout and refer to the snippet. So snippet top profile, there we go. And close that tag. And this should not be occupying the whole thing. Looks like it's occupying the entire layout, which isn't what we want. So the problem is likely in this file right here. So let's go to the snippet top profile and we'll change these to just do uh, just do wrap content. Uh, or maybe the width, the, mid the width is fine Nash parent. But the height, let's change to wrap content. There we go. And now we can close that. Let's go back to our layout center. Oh, I named that wrong. Center. Let's, re let's refactor that. Oops, not that one. Here we go. So just right click, refactor, rename, layout center profile, refactor. There we go. And there we go. Now we can see that when we click on this linear layout, it's not occupying the entire thing, which is what we want. And we're going to have to do some adjustments to the image view. We have to center it and, of course, make it a circle image, but we'll just leave that for now. And that looks pretty good. I just want to maybe check it on different screen size. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't mind some margins on the left and the right, so let's uh, let's do that. We'll add them to this this relative layout right here. So we'll do a little margin start, maybe 30 dp, and margin end uh, 30 dp. There we go. So that's looking much better. Let's check it out on a smaller screen. Still looks good. All right, let's let's uh, let's grab the circle image library now. So we'll open up a new uh, browser window. Just type uh, maybe Android circle image. Yeah, this is the one right here. So um, grab this dependency, we'll just scroll down. This is a really easy one to use. You just grab this, go to our project, open the Gradle app folder, so circle, image view, put that in there and sync. Once we have that, we can go down to where our image view was and I'm just going to start typing uh, what is it? circle. There we go. So we want this one right here. D, uh, I don't know how to say that, circle image view. So we'll grab that and I'm just going to do 80 dp by 80 dp for the image size and I'll give it an ID of profile image. And let's give it, uh, we can give it a border. So border of black. And we need to give it a border width of just 2dp. And what else do we need? Center vertically. There we go. So now this image is going to be centered the way we want it. It's going to have a nice black border. And it will look um, just like this right here. So it's pretty pretty easy to use. Pretty great, uh, pretty great library. All right, let's go down. We're going to go below our linear layout that we made right here. So below the one with it says lin layout, which is going to be right about here. And now we're going to work on work on let's take a picture. This section right here. Oh, that looks bad. Wow. Work on this section right here. And this one I'm going to use the linear layout because uh, this is a text view, this will be a text view, and this will be a text view. So it'll be very simple just to do a linear layout and orient it vertically to get those three text views in line. So we'll create a linear layout down here. Do a match parent and I guess wrap content. And let's get in here and do an orientation of vertical. And this one's going to be below uh, lin layout, which is what I named the other linear layout right here, lin layout. And I think inside here we can just put three text views and that's all we need to do. So we'll do a uh, match parent for the width and we can just do wrap content for the height. We'll give it an ID 
This one we called display name. Let's set some text color to black. And this one will be bold, so I'll set the text style to bold, since that uh, that Instagram heading thing right here is kind of bold. And let's put some dummy text in here just so we know what it looks like. I'm just going to put my name, new text size 16 SP. And you can tell that this definitely needs some margins or some padding, so let's go up here and we could use padding, I guess, actually. We could use padding and just do uh, maybe 20 dp. That'll kind of bring everything into the center. Now I'm going to copy this text view and I'm going to do it uh, two more times. So one and two. And the second one I'm going to name uh, description because that's going to be where you put your profile description. And the final one will be uh, I'll call website because that's where you're going to put your website. And these two I'm going to get rid of bold. I don't want them to be bold. And what else do we need? Maybe maybe some margins on these. So I'm just going to do like a margin top of 10 dp, maybe, maybe 5 dp. Do 5 dp, and the same thing for this guy down here. So margin top of 5 dp, and we can actually put a margin. I'll put a margin on the bottom of the linear layout. So margin bottom, and just do I don't know, maybe 20 dp. That might be a little big. 15 dp. There we go. And let's change this text. So this is going to be where you put your profile description. So I'll just say I live in Vancouver, BC. And down here I'll put HTTPS coding with Mitch.com. Oh, actually, let's change this text color to blue. So it looks like a link. I don't have blue. Let's head over to uh, hex color chart. So open up web browser, hex color chart. And let's find a blue for a link. I don't know, let's click around here. Kind of whatever one you think looks good. That one looks okay. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go into values and go into colors. And I'm just going to paste it in there and then copy that. Paste it. And let's cut that. Paste it in there. I'm going to call it a uh, link blue, I guess. Hopefully it looks like a link. That's way too light. All right, let's go back to the color chart. Um, probably more like like these colors I think let's try this one go back to Android studio go into colors paste that uh, it's still not really right but whatever if you want to play around with it get the link color correct I'll leave that up to you that's uh, it's gonna be good enough for me and what else do we need I noticed that this border isn't on the bottom so let's go up to the top uh, this is, oh it's because it's not wrapped content that's why. There we go. Now, there we go. Now we have that border there. So let's go down to the bottom. And that's a bit of a big margin. So I'm going to shrink that margin up. Uh, I'm just going to do maybe 5 dp. You don't need all that space down there. And that's that's looking a little better. Actually, maybe that margin isn't even necessary because of all that padding we have there. Yeah, I'm going to do no margin. So there we go. That's starting to look a little better. Now we'll go below the linear layout that encapsulates this middle section and we're going to add in the grid view. So this is going to be the last sec last part of this. We're going to do one final uh, relative layout here. I'll do match parent and wrap content and I'll give it an ID. I think this is relative layout 3 and we'll do below ID uh, relative layout 2. Oh, I can't remember. Actually, you know what? I can do below uh, Lin layout. Did I, did I, below? I need to give this an ID. That's what it is. Go up here, give this one an ID. Lin layout 2. And then I'll copy this and I'll do below Lin layout 2. There we go. And we need to make sure we do a margin on the bottom here for our bottom navigation bar. And then we just add in our grid view. So the grid view will do match parent and wrap content. And we need to set a bunch of other properties here. We definitely need to give it an ID. And I'm just going to call it grid view. And we'll do a uh, number of columns. This is kind of customizable. It, you can do whatever you want. But in Instagram itself, it has three columns. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do exactly what Instagram does. And then we need to set some vertical spacing. I'll just do 1DP to have a very small space in between. And horizontal spacing. Um, maybe also do 1DP. And then we need to set the stretch mode. We'll do column width. 
and gravity will be center. Okay, that should be our grid view. So that actually wasn't so bad. Let's uh, let's check different screen sizes here. We'll go to a five and a half inch screen. Looks good. Go to a seven inch screen. Still looks good. Let's rotate it. Looks good. Looks good. Um, let's check out a really big screen. Rotate it. So everything seems to be staying in place. Um, pretty pretty much the way you want it, except for this right here. Actually, I think it, should look, it just looks like it has a dead space down here because of the grid view. It doesn't have enough space to throw in another item. So we'll leave it for now. Um, if we have to fix something, I can come back to it. But uh, I think this is looking pretty good. Now we're gonna go back to activity profile and we're gonna add in our stuff. So this will be the uh, layout center that we just built. So layout center profile. So there we go, it's starting to look good. We have our action bar on the bottom. It's coming through. Our entire layout's looking good. And well, we just want to add one last thing. I'm going to add a progress bar. So go progress bar, and it's going to be a big one. I'll do 150 dp by 150 dp. And we'll give it an ID of profile progress bar. And let's do uh, center horizontal true to margin top, maybe 50 dp. So this is what will show up when your, uh, your profile is loading. I guess I could do 100 dp. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so I think we're going to stop there. Um, surprised we actually managed to finish that whole layout. That was kind of a tricky layout to build, but uh, definitely starting to look good. All right, so I think that's a good place to stop. We managed to finish this whole layout. In the next video, I'm going to um, add the menu up here for navigating to the next screen where we can actually either sign out or edit our profile. And yeah, so I'll just get all that navigation kind of set up. So I'll see you guys in the next video.